Internet Computer Protocol is a cryptocurrency with a real organic growth, while 99% of crypto is paid, fake, and bots. Once you understand this, you will understand crypto so much better, it'll stop being confusing, and maybe you'll do like me and go all in on internet computer. Maybe you won't, but this is my position. This is, I have hundreds and thousands of internet computer protocol locked up indefinitely. Why? Because this is the crypto that I see that has the best technology and it has organic growth because it has the best technology. Let me give you a great example of this. And I'll explain how much of the rest of crypto is just hype, paid shills, fake engagement, bots, and organic traffic based off of the fake. So let's look first. Dominic Williams is the follow founder of Internet Computer Protocol via Definity. And he did a demonstration of AI running on chain on Internet Computer Protocol, which is the world's first time that has happened. This video has gotten almost a million views on X in the first couple of days this came out. And this reminds me of Steve Jobs presenting the iPhone, epic marketing moments that all he's doing is demonstrating this technology. And the technology is so good that people are very interested in it and covering it for free. That's real organic growth when you can just describe the technology and people talk about it. If you look at his post, he talks about how internet computer is the world's first third generation blockchain, where Bitcoin was the first, Ethereum's second, internet computer protocol is the first crypto. You can actually build everything from your website, like jerrybanfield.com is on internet computer, your open chat. Open chat is a community building application like Telegram or Discord. It's on internet computer protocol and it's fully on chain. This is the future of crypto. If you're wondering, well, why does it matter if it's on chain or not? If it's not on chain, the value is not on chain. Most of the rest of crypto is built off chain. For example, the websites, any AI applications, they're built off chain and then they have little limited interfaces with the blockchain, which means the real value is off chain. With AI on chain built in smart contracts, you can do things on internet computer protocol that are much more secure and transparent that you just can't do anywhere else. This is an idea I got from Cityscape to talk about this. And his journey with Internet Computer Protocol is a perfect example of what I'm seeing happening with crypto creators on YouTube. Cityscape is a developer who is into crypto and he was into other cryptocurrencies and he found Internet Computer Protocol and he's continued to do more and more videos about Internet Computer Protocol. I consistently watch his videos about Internet Computer Protocol because I appreciate his insights as a developer who has the technical knowledge to get in there and really use the technology in a way that I don't as a marketing person. And what I'm seeing is it takes a while, but he did a video about ICP's growth is organic, which motivated me to like, I want to highlight that too. And what happens, not only is ICP's growth organic, but because the technology is so good that at some point, what people are doing is often then selling all the rest of their altcoins for ICP. Because once you understand the rest of what's going on in crypto, the rest of what's going on in crypto is a pretty dark picture. I've been a marketer online since 2011. I've been into crypto since 2014. I've done a lot of crypto videos. I've seen from the inside exactly what goes on. So let me tell you what 99% of crypto is. And this is why Internet Computer stands out so much as being different. 99% of crypto is people trying it to do the least amount of work they can possibly get away with to create a coin or a layer one and then to make as much money as they possibly can. And generally, the way they're doing that is they're paying, they'll get some initial investors or do a token launch, and then use that money to pay as many people as possible to talk about the crypto and to build on the crypto. Now, I know from experience as a marketer that you can often get some very rapid, noteworthy growth using paid marketing. And here's an example of what I did. When I started my YouTube channel, it was very difficult for me to grow. 
And uh, I tried everything in order to grow my channel. The first thing that really worked to grow my channel was to make video tutorials that people really enjoyed, just similar to this. And then I found if I made long format videos and then advertised them, I could dominate the top of the rankings. That strategy doesn't work very well anymore, but it was killing it in 2015, 16, 17, and 18. So what I did, I started paying people to make YouTube videos for me and then advertising those and my YouTube channel absolutely blew up because I had all this paid traffic which generated all kinds of extra organic traffic which made me millions and millions of dollars selling online courses. But it got me a whole bunch of subscribers that didn't really care about Jerry Banfield. They cared about the guy who I paid, Ermin, to make hacking tutorials. Or they paid, cared about the League of Legends coach. I paid to do League of Legends videos. But when I stopped paying everybody, it all came crashing down. And that's how I have, I just do music videos for fun on this channel now. And that's why my videos on this channel are lucky to get a few hundred views with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Now, if instead I had taken a long-term marketing strategy as I am doing now, so I have made a bunch of new YouTube channels, this crypto channel is a perfect example. I have never used any kind of paid ads on this channel, and this channel has done all organic growth. Now, this channel started out a lot slower than my other channel, but in the first year, we're up to 35,000 subscribers, and because it's organic growth, then I've got a real community of people who schedule one-on-one -on -call, one -on -one calls, talk on Discord and open chat, and hang out on Twitch and watch my other channels. And this is an example of what I've seen in marketing, that it, Internet Computer Protocol is going with an organic marketing strategy similar to how I've built my new YouTube channels. And while it's slow and while nothing seems like it's happening at first, what happens is it keeps going up and up and up over time. So I know that anyone could just say that, but let me show you some real data. So Internet Computer Protocol, one of the best ways you can really tell how much the network's actually being used is to look at the cycle burn rate on average. These is, are equivalent to paying your web hosting bill on something like Amazon, where in order for me to host my website on Internet Computer Protocol, I had a developer set it up. Actually, the developer just built the whole thing for me and asked me to map my URL to it. And that's what I did. And then take a balance of cycles. Every time when you visit my website, the front end and the back end are on ICP and I have to burn a small amount of cycles when you visit my website. In order to get cycles, you burn ICP. So the cycle burn rate is one of the best metrics to see the real use of internet computer protocol. Not speculation or hype or fee burning from transactions, but cycle burn rate is the best way you can see like, okay, people are burning cycles to pay for the network to do real work and computations like hosting a website. And what you can see over the last several months, the average about three months ago was like four or 5,000 cycles being burned a second. And uh, right now, even just before this big spike, it was getting up to six. But now the last 90 days, the average is 8, 8 billion cycles on average being burnt per second. Now, if you look back at the all-time network, like at the whole history of the network, and you look at the cycle burn rate, you can see the cycle burn rate has grown massively. When the network first started, it was well under a billion cycles a second being burned, with some days, even in the middle of the maximum bull market hype, the cycles being burned was a tiny fraction. And like anywhere from you know 10 to 100 plus times less than it is today. And as people built more and more applications on Internet Computer Protocol, the cycle burn rate average has steadily went up and up and up from two. And you, you have spikes here and there where apps go popular, but then it often comes right back down. And what you'll notice is about a year ago, the cycle burn rate was around half of what it is now. In the last year, the amount of real use on the network has approximately doubled. And uh, that is a very good indication of where we're going. And there's a ton more data you can look at on the ICP dashboard. But what's more amazing is that this is organic because most of crypto 
people that are in positions like me are taking huge amounts of money to tell you about cryptos who've paid them to talk about them. And I did a whole bunch of videos on ICP when I found ICP and nobody paid me to do those videos. I did those videos because that was the best information I could possibly find. I do have a community grant with Internet Computer Protocol via Definity now, but it ends up being, if I do the math, on I got 20,000 for several months of videos, which that is money I, I accepted for essentially doing what I was going to do anyway. I'm going to talk about Internet Computer Protocol no matter what. And I have one of the largest audiences on the internet computer protocol right now. If I was to accept a deal from another blockchain to do what I do for internet computer, they would probably give me 200 plus thousand dollars to do the exact same thing. So while internet computer protocol does give out money to developers here and there in grants, and it does give out a few community grants to creators, it's a fraction of what everybody else is spending on marketing. For example, Internet Computer spent like $20 million or less for developers to be building all the stuff they're building on here, while some of these other chains have spent billions of dollars to pay people to talk about them and to get developers to build on them. But since the actual technology is not that impressive, what happens as soon as the money runs out, then uh, people stop building on that chain. And what I've noticed is when sponsorships run out for other crypto YouTubers, they often stop talking about whatever it was they were sponsored by. But what I've noticed, even when content creators get community grants from ICP, like I'm going to keep talking about ICP indefinitely. It doesn't matter whether I have a community grant or not. And I got into this for free and I'm going to keep talking about it until I find something better. And when you really look at the marketing for these cryptos, most of them are paying. And what's even worse, a lot of these cryptos are using bots to push their posts. And th there's posts on crypto with almost absolutely no substance that have gotten about as many views as Dominic Williams's posts here. And if you if you've been tricked into thinking that stuff is really popular, that's because they used the, it, this this is a post with huge amount of value that has went off organically. This to me is great marketing. Most of the rest of what you see in crypto is on X. This is why I don't even look at the feed on X anymore because most of the crypto posts that are on there that are going off are pushed by bots. If you talk about certain altcoins, then bots will push your post. And this is something I've noticed firsthand as a creator. If I could name names, but I won't because I've named them before and uh, I, I, uh, th the whole industry is like this anyway. I could tell you specific cryptos. If I make a video about them and I put a thumbnail saying the price is going to go up, I guarantee you I get more views on that video than I do on this one every single time. Why? Because some of these cryptos, they sit there and have bots that anytime a YouTuber puts a video out that's positive, the bots come in and push the video. This is why certain cryptos have massive amounts of videos about them. And if you watch all of them, they have no substance. I mean, there are certain cryptos that bots are pushing that all kinds of creators are making videos about. And there's literally no substance in any of the videos. And if you research the stuff they say, it's blatantly lies. You can never verify it for yourself. And then there's Internet Computer that many influencers at the highest levels don't even talk about it because they don't get bots to push their videos because they're so focused on getting the most views all the time and getting the most money and sponsorships that while some do mention internet computer few actually focus on it because it's more profitable in crypto for creators to just put videos about about all these junk coins you get the bots to push all your traffic up and then you get more money and more fake influence. Almost every crypto YouTuber, almost everyone that has over 100,000 subscribers is either doing this consciously, they know how it works and they're doing it willingly, or they're doing this unconsciously where all they know is they're trying to you know, put videos out that get the most views and uh, 
they they're not even thinking about how that's happening so if you have understood what i'm saying here then you're in a position to see where the future's going before everybody else does and this is why i sold all my other crypto into icp and this once you understand how manipulated and intentionally confusing crypto is you can cut through all the mess and see look internet computers got the best tech and when all these other schemes and ponzi schemes when the money stops and it comes down to is your technology worth using by itself if nobody paid you to use it if nobody pays you to talk about it almost all the rest of crypto is going to get destroyed to me this is an all or nothing kind of investing where you pick the right altcoin and you have wealth for the rest of your life and you pick the wrong altcoin you lose everything so i hope that you get wealth my videos are here to help build a wealthy world i'm tired of y'all getting ripped off in these junk coins thank you for watching this if you found this helpful i'm jerry banfield i make videos for you almost every day go to jerrybanfield.com if you'd like more i have two crypto channels a couple of thoughts and autobiography channels i have a video for youtube creators a channel i just made i play games i do music on my original channel i've got one-on-one -on -one calls you can join the community in discord to make sure you always see my new videos you can join the community in open chat or twitch to chat for free thanks for watching and i'll hope to see you again soon